Chris here from Bike Repair. Today we're going to show you how to repair your packer and also install the packer with the liner into a pipe. So first things first, we always recommend to use a, a form, a piece of paper to write down what you're doing, where you're doing it, what the size of the packer is, what the pressure, maximum pressure is, which you'll find down the bottom of the packer here. So this packer is a 100 by 150 millimeter packer with a maximum pressure of 2.5 bar. Uh, we can never exceed that pressure and is recommended to pump to 2.5 bar when using. So the next thing we wanna do is inspect our packer. So if we're, if what we're looking for is, is any cuts, abrasions, um, any signs of, of, of wear and tear. Um, now, this only takes a couple of seconds to do. You can have a good look over it. Because if there is a, if there is a cut in it, uh, even if it's, it seems to be quite, um, quite superficial, then recommend not using the packer because that is a weak spot um, and it is likely uh, to pop at some stage. So we've done that um, and this packer is is good. Um, it's been used before um, and it's yep, still in, in good condition um, as long as you look after them um, and you're, you're careful of storage um, you, you should get years and years of, of life um, out of the packer. So before we put on our protective uh, sleeve, we're going to tie our, a rope off to the end here. So there's a, a prefix hook. So you, you can do, some people like to do some very fancy knots. You can keep it simple. Now, this is to be able to pull the packer out once it's uh, cured and the line is cured and the pack is deflated uh, and to pull it out. We do use air rods as well, um, which are locked in. We don't recommend pulling by the air rods, only by the rope. Now, on this, I've purposely left this section of the rope quite long. So if you actually look here, it comes across these, these lines. And now, this is your encroachment zones. So, because we're using a 100 by 150 mil packer, your internal internal marks, the blue rings for 150 mil liner, the external is your maximum length for 100 mil liner. So, the maximum length on, on this packer for 100 mil liner is, is um, 1260 millimeters and 1100 and 80 millimetres for 150 mil liner. Now, if we left that like that, uh, there is every chance that that rope could end up across here um, and actually get cured um, in the liner, uh, which is then gonna present a, a large problem in, in removing the packer. So once we've done that, we wanna leave some, some room on it, but not too much. So we can snip off that excess. Okay, um, and now we've got our uh, air rods, and you know, these are, are crimped um, in house um, using um, the same fittings, um, original from Japan. So they've got a, a lock in them um, as well. So when we click that in, you hear a click, and then we turn that twist to lock, which means that that fitting can't can't come out. So this is our uh, protective sleeve. So we generally cut this into pre-measured um, lengths. So this is to, not only to protect the packer when you're pushing it in the drain, but also to prevent the, um, the resin from sticking to your packer uh, because the resin will, will destroy your packer, okay? So we wanna be careful when we're, when we're putting this on.
Ellen side, you might have um, two, usually you'll have two people. Be able to do a hand with this. So there's two creases on each end of this tube. So we want to have that right, right on the end of the packy here. So and then if we pull that first crease up, obviously the other side's the opposite end. And then we want to fold that over. Okay, so it's nice and nice and tight and also nice and square. Uh, then we'll do our duct tape. So when you're putting this on, you want to keep a fair bit of tension on the duct tape, just to ensure that this holds the, the sleeve on as well as not allowing any sewage or water to get, um, get under there. Now a tip on this is to just fold the, the end over like a little tab. So when you want to, when the pack has been removed, it makes it a lot easier to get that duct tape um, off, especially if there's a little bit of resin on it. Okay. Um, now we've got our um, elastic bands here, which we're going to put on. So these are size 33 elastic bands. They're not especially made elastic bands. They're a size 33. Uh, you can get them. Uh, well, you can get them from our website, or you can get them from uh, you know your office works. Um, and places like that, you want to be using a quality, um, quality elastic band. Um, the size 33 has uh, been used for years and years, um, and it's, it has stood the test of time. So we usually put these about every 250 to 300 mil. So now we've got that end taped. So we actually take the elastic band, and then we actually sort of turn it around. So we've actually got double. So this is just to hold the, the pack of sleeve on and keep and keep it straight. So when when the packer inflates, it, it's it's not twisted. If it is twisted, you will find your liner will come out very crinkled. Also going to be using these elastic bands on the, the liner itself once it's wet out to hold it hold it in place. Um, the same size elastic band, um, same process, but we'll, we will be doing them a lot closer. Okay. Now we've got the elastic bands on. We've checked that our fittings are locked in. Our rope is good. So again, we make sure that's squared. Now, when you're duct taping this, you only want to be duct taping on the very end, so not over the rubber at all, um, only on the, the plastic, uh, plastic ends and the steel ring. Again, we put a bit of pressure on when we're putting that duct tape um, around. You don't have to go overboard, but definitely don't be shy in, in using the duct tape. Now, we're also going to come up here towards our air rod and rope, which will stop any uh, water flow or sewage going um, and getting inside um, of the backup. And it also keeps it. Um, makes it a little bit smoother in, in removing uh, 
um, the packer and prevent it from getting caught. Again, if you do remember, let's put your little tab on there. It will make life a lot easier at the end of the day. So, now, this is um, ready now um, for us to, to, to prep our, our liner with resin, uh, wet it out, um, and install it onto the packer and then into the bike.